Tokyo well, Agent Tethers. Welcome back to more Puzzle you Agent. To to brought to you, Puzzle Agent on? 2, actually. I brought to you by GameAnyone.com. I'm Orwa Usopp, and we just cured Bjorn's Insanitai. I know you're behind all of the missing person cases in Scoggins. Mm, that's not true. Then why did I see your man Edvard in the woods last night? He was searching for the shield that... The other cult, uh, member of the Brotherhood? Yeah. He went to commune with the hidden people. Never returned. Is that what the kids are calling now it nowadays? He's lost. Okay. Why were you trying to keep me from finding Isaac Davner? He was chosen. The hidden people whispered to him. He had to listen. Where is he now? He is lost. Like the others, the hidden people are angered. Bummer. How do you talk to the hidden people? With my not. mouth. They choose. Oh, okay. I have never seen them. <laughs> well, if you're not behind the disappearances, who is? I do not know. You must find them, Agent Others. Bring them home, all of them. Shielder, Edvar, Isaac, all of them. I'll do what I can. Didn't some of them disappear years ago, dude? Who's Olaf? Olaf Velhaven. The first man lost to the forest many years ago. Yep, apparently they were. Where was he seen last? In his cabin, in Sesame Woods. Bjorn insists yeah, the Brotherhood me, isn't again. behind the disappearances. For some reason, I believe it. I'm relieved they're not trying to kill me, but that only leaves me with one theory. Isaac Davner really is a serial murderer. Bjorn's pointed out the cabin of Olaf Velhaven on my map. Maybe I'll find some leads there. I didn't see him pointed out. Alright. Any of you people see him pointed out? I didn't see him pointed out. Alright. Anyway. Uh, let's see. Hey, hey! Welcome back to more Puzzle Agent. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright. Um... What was I supposed to do? Was I supposed to get on my scooter? Olav's cabin. Yeah. Yes. Alrighty. Olav's. Oh. Wait a minute. Need to get in the cabin, but it's sealed. I'm looking around for. Something in this cabin could be the key to this whole mystery. Yes, it I've could. to find a way inside. But I want to look around for gum. Oh. Well, that was a pointless exercise. With only one cut, sever all the barricades on the door. Alright, another one of these. Well, you know, this one actually has locks. Go. No. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. I think. Okay. The lock on Olaf's cabin was a little tricky. Who the or locks, what was he plural? trying to keep out? Probably us. What a cluttered place. 
The cabin seems untouched. I must be the first person here in years. Apparently, Olaf Velhaven had an interest in astronomy. No. There's got to be something in his journals or equipment that gives a clue to his disappearance. Not necessarily. Let's see, we got puzzle. Two puzzles. Yay, puzzle. Three puzzles. So many it's puzzles. It's focused on the moon, just like Olaf was. Looks like Olaf was a fan of Galileo. Galileo. This looks like some kind of mathematical formula. Does it? Can you figure out the algorithm he created? You're in the mathematical elements in proper order. But... There's an open parenthesis here, but no clo close parentheses. That's no good. There's just not enough information here to solve this one yet. That's what I was saying. How could one man possibly need this many socks? Dude, I've lived in... I, not lived in. I have visited where it's snowy. I wore multiple pairs of socks, that's for sure. I wonder if Olaf moved to the wilderness to better see the stars. Click the center of the circles to rotate them. Arrange the objects so the suns are on the left and the earths are on the right. And the moons are where they overlap. So... Bloody hell. Alright. Um, this one may take a minute. Just a second. Meh. Kitty. Meh. There's two, er there's two suns. So they can go over here. Yes. Yeah, so now we want Earths over here. Yes, I think I got it. Excuse me a second. You're an indoor cat. Standing at the door and yelling won't do a damn thing. All right, I'm sorry. I had to talk to the kitty. What do you mean how? It was pretty. There was just two things to rotate. But why would an astronomer come to Scoggins to do his research? Easy. You go to the middle of Redneck Podunk Nowhere so you can see That's all the no stars. Okay, sorry. When you're in the city, you can't see the stars. I grew up out in the country, a little, little, little place called The Bend, near a, another little place called San... Even, during, during a place that's barely a community called The Bend, near a place that's kind of a small town called San Saba. This is odd. Why would an astronomer be studying psychology? And I will say, after moving to the uh, to Austin, I do the one the, one of the few things I really miss about the country is the stars. Move the celestial bodies to their proper position in the cosmos. Large asteroid is in the way, but it can end up anywhere. Oh, f bloody marvelous! Now I've locked it in place. Excuse me, I'm gonna go see to the cat. 
I'll be right back. I'm going to go give her some treats or something. That usually shushes her up. Alrighty. Um, I won't have been neglecting the earth completely, but then again, there's no point in moving the earth just yet. Nah. Okay, this one won't move any further up. And it looks like it should fit. Ah, there we go. It did fit. There we go, I got the moon in the right place. Yay, I win. No. No. Break it down. Cats can be such... What's the word? Attention whores. Oh, come on. That has to fit. Yes, yes it does. Yes! I now have the cat in my lap. It seems to have solved her problem. Hooray! Man, these is a lot of puzzles in one house. One piece at a time, yeah. I just right out of the way. Sun and plate. Well, that's kind of the only way to do it. That's it. But what does this have to do with his other research? I don't know. Monkeys? Yes, yes, socks. Another puzzle. Olaf seems to have been particularly interested in lunar eclipses. Yes, because he's got one piece of paper here showing the eclipses. One, each moon... And it's a total of 10 lunacy watts, distributed evenly to each lunar ray. How many watts are received by the Earth? 10, 10, 10. Oh, there's, okay, that one's 10. That one's 5. And that one's 5, so 20. Yay! Alrighty. I don't even need to say how, but what the heck. One of the rooms full power, yep. Olaf Velhoppen kept a record of the time and date of every penumbral eclipse for years. Good for him. Why was he so interested in lunar eclipses? What the hee-haw? Did that just slide over on its own? Seriously? Alright, just a second, I'm going to have to check the time. I think we're out of it. Eh, variably termed out of it, but we got enough time to check out this tape recording. And a cucumber sandwich. Also, I've reached a remarkable breakthrough. Who, be who begins a recording it? And the phases of the moon and the disorders of the human mind. But seriously, about that sandwich. <laughs> so simple. All of the moon's complex energies, electrical energy, in the brain, in the lunatic, all interrelated. Really? All reduced to one beautiful elegant formula. <laughs> Thank you, all of you, a song in celebration. <coughs> Do I hear pigeons? Is he talking to pigeons? La 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 the greatest finding in the history of astral psychology, and they claim my research has no scientific merit. And they said my mustache is silly. If NASA ignores my work, perhaps a private investor. NASA? 
If Olaf Velhoven's journal is to be believed, he made an incredible discovery. He's mathematically solved lunacy. Okay. What could be causing this headache? Lunacy. Never mind. I've got to get back to Corcus and tell her what I've discovered. Yes, we've got to get back to Corcus. How do I get out of here?